A new generation of electrical safety standards is changing the way industrial facilities must handle arc flash safety in the workplace. Many people have questions. What is an arc flash? What can be done to prevent injury from arc flash? And what must be done to be in compliance with the standards? Hi, I'm Scott Nyman with Power Source Engineering, and this video will give an overview of arc flash hazards. Let's start with the end in mind. You want to keep your workers safe, and of course, you want to adhere to OSHA regulations. OSHA has guidelines in place precisely because arc flash explosions are common, cause severe injury, and can result in death. MSHA likely will follow suit in the near future. An arc flash is a sudden, uncontrolled release of energy resulting from the intense heat generated from an electrical arc fault. The size of the explosion and the amount of heat energy varies greatly throughout an electrical system. It can be small or it can be very large. Working on or even near an open, energized 480 volt electrical panel can result in a devastating arc flash. An arc flash can be caused by a slip screwdriver, an accumulation of dirt and moisture, even ionized air resulting from a loose connection in the panel. In other words, an arc flash victim may have made a mistake or may have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Here's a demonstration. This arc flash is started using a small piece of wire to bridge the phase conductors. Undeniably, that's a serious hazard. Let's break it down. Heat rises immediately as high as 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's nearly four times the temperature of the sun. Nearby air quickly heats to several thousands degrees, hot enough to catch clothing on fire and result in serious burns. The heat vaporizes metal, spewing molten pieces of copper, along with any loose parts and tools toward workers. The deafening sound is accompanied by a pressure shock wave that can throw a worker across the room, break ribs, and collapse lungs. The flash and arc flash can blind a victim temporarily or permanently, and often a victim will inhale the hot, toxic smoke from the fiery explosion which can result in serious lung damage. It all happens in an instant. Let's do some numbers. Every day in the United States, 5 to 10 arc flash explosions send victims to burn units. Each year, about 350 people die from electrically related injuries. A single injury typically costs a company about $15 million. That's a lot of medical treatment, legal fees, equipment damage, and fines. Worst of all, if the victim lives, he will likely need years of painful rehabilitation and may never return to work or regain his quality of life. Of course, electrical workers are very careful to avoid shock and electrocution. However, even experienced electricians may not be aware of the hazards of arc flash. The good news, the very good news, is that arc flash injuries are nearly 100% preventable. Issued by the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA 70E has emerged as a safety standard to adopt. The National Electrical Code and OSHA both mention it in their documents, and citations have been issued based on 70E. Here are the basic requirements of NFPA 70E. Establish policies and procedures at your plant. Now, this may require some executive level conversations to ensure complete compliance and understanding. Perform an arc flash hazard analysis. This digital model of your electrical system determines the relative danger of each major piece of equipment. Be sure a very qualified team performs this study. Install warning labels so everyone knows the danger level on each piece of equipment. Provide and require PPE. Workers will use full suits when working on the most dangerous energized equipment, but have less stringent requirements for equipment presenting less of a hazard. Require an energized work permit for all energized work. Finally, you need to train your employees so everyone understands the process of avoiding arc flash hazards. There you have the basics of arc flash hazards. Now you know an arc flash is a sudden, uncontrolled release of energy that sometimes occurs when working on energized equipment. Arc flash kills, 
and sends thousands of victims to burn units every year. And you can ensure worker safety and comply with OSHA standards by following the guidelines of NFPA 70E.